Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. And I have coffee and a new mug that says like a boss. I got it for Christmas. Mm. Nice warm coffee. It's kind of cold. We haven't really gotten too much weather, but it's kind of cold. Um, okay, Dollar Tree haul. We know. I got those. I got a snack. I'll put this in with my lunch tomorrow. And then I grabbed a pack of these. And let me tell you, these are, they're just loot bags and they're clear and they're fantastic for any kind of packaging that you need to do. I ran out, so I grabbed another package. I just leave it in a drawer that I have like gift bags and stuff in because these are fantastic for all the things. All right, so it's a hodgepodge, but it's mostly new stuff. Uh, let's see. Oh, these are not new. Um, I grabbed some dryer sheets. Mm. There should be another box. Oh, here they are. I don't often use dryer sheets, but in the winter time for my like fleece stuff, I like to throw a dryer sheet in. Static. Static is my life. I do not use fabric softener or dryer sheets on my towels. So there's that. Um, oh, in the $5 section, I grabbed some Easter bunny garland. It's just little bunny heads. I thought for my desk decor, I would use these to decorate for Easter. They were $3. So I got that. And then they had a, a new storage container and this is a 25 cup. Like this holds it. And I thought, I'm putting the lid back on. Oh, it's a diff, it's directional, who knew? Um, it's a Sure Fresh brand, but I thought this is great for storage. Um, I'm kind of getting back into my, um, not prepping by any means, but long-term storage. Like I just bought a bunch of pork. I have a video coming up, I think next week. You'll see that I grabbed the new Sela meal food saver and did a bunch of pork. It was on sale and I'm like, well, this is good for some storing of some larger items. So I grabbed that just to put in my food section. I'm gonna revamp some of my storage. I need to go through my pantry and remove or take out some stuff that's probably past due and past the date and just kind of tidy up. I cleaned out my freezer like you do. Um, and then on that same vein, um, these are new or these are new to me. These, I grabbed four of them for my refrigerator. Um, the ones I have in there, some of them are broken and which is fine. These are just the clear refrigerator containers. Although, honestly, you can put them anywhere. I mean, they are clear. You can put them in your pantry. If you use like, do ramen noodles or like the packets of seasoning and stuff, you can stand them up in here, line them up. Decent size. These are 12 inch by six inch by three and a half. I think they would hold canned goods. Uh, they are Greenbrier brands, so everybody should have access to them. So I'll show you, let me take this off. But I like that they're clear. The sides are not, like they're not gonna hold tons of stuff. But in your freezer, you could put like rolls of hamburger or whatever. I love these containers for my refrigerator and I like that they have the handle and then the little like bottom in there. Um, the ones I have, like I said, a couple of them got broken, things dropped on them or whatever. So just want to do a little refresh. I have a lot of smaller items like cheese and stuff like that. So that's my thought. I bought a pizza pan and I didn't end up using it for, well, pizza. Um, but I'll keep this. I decided I did not need a 12 inch pizza. I bought Sorry, my eye itches. I bought at the grocery store, King Arthur brand, the flour brand has a keto wheat pizza crust mix. So I bought it and I made two six inch pizzas and it's really good. My blood sugar did not go up super high. So I think it's 
I was seeing something outside. It was me. It's my own reflection. Um, because it's nighttime. Sorry for the extra lighting. Oh, hi, Wellington. Hi, sir. He's deaf. Hey, Bobby. Hi, baby. Oh, he said stop it. So anyway, I bought this pan thinking I was going to make a 12-inch pizza. And then I figured out that I can make... So I made the whole recipe, which would have made two 12-inch pizzas. But I, when I read online that I could freeze the pizza dough after I let it rise, um, that's what I did. So I made two, and then I cut the other two and packaged them separately, and they're in my freezer right now. So when I want to make a six-inch pizza, which is really what I want, I can do that. That's a lot to say about a pizza pan, right? Guys, I'm, a, I'm all over it today. Um, oh, I found these are super cute. They had them in bunnies, but I wanted the little chicks. These are new to me. They have the little um clippies on the bottom, and I was thinking they could walk across the top of my little decor. You could put these on reeds anywhere you want, really, but they're little feet like you just clip them. So I thought that was awesome, and the first six pack. We'll just put this with the Easter stuff. I got all the seasons covered. Uh, for St. Patrick's Day for my work, Dewey, I grabbed these clovers and I thought on either corner I could just take a pipe cleaner or a, what are they calling them now, chenille, and putting them on there with some greenery that I bought. And for St. Patrick's Day or the month of March, in reality, oh, okay was in the home decor section and they had some cute stuff. I thought I would share some of the things I picked up. Um, they had these, which I think is awesome. Now it is very farmhouse. Um, I would say for me, I think it's like a modern farmhouse, but this is like the corner finial, if you had like um, crown molding. But I also thought this would be awesome for a cross stitch ornament. Like I could make something small and mount it. Ooh, a cow head would be fun. I don't know, I liked it. So I grabbed that. Um, I have another one somewhere. And then I found this and I'm dying. This is not wood. <laughs> it's a sticker on top. It's super cute. Also, I was thinking it's a nice size circle. So either put it up because I think it's weird and fun at the same time. It's fake wood and then it's printed with this. So this is like flat and then the fake greenery and the little bow. I mean, this is like, I don't know. It's cute. I got it mostly, I think, for the round piece of MDF board. When I get to the other piece, I'll show you. Um, this is going to my little cousin for her bedroom because she raises pigs uh, for 4-H, and I should put her name on it. Maybe I will, or I'll see if Sarah wants to pr print some Cricut. It's just a metal piggy. <laughs> and I'm going to give it to her, and she can hang it in her bedroom. She'll love that. Um. Oh, this is fun. It's a little kit, and I didn't see these at Christmas time, but these would have been a fun stocking stuffer, but I think they would be a fantastic Easter basket filler. And maybe that's why it's out. It's invisible light pen. So you write a secret message and you need the light to decode it. So you write with the ink and then the light shines. It must be like a black light or something. They had this one and I don't remember what the other thing was, but I decided that I needed the flamingo. And then it has the light. I thought it would be fun. We'll see. It may end up in our in my life altering prize bin. Cause you know, that's how I roll. Um, I grabbed one of these for a very random reason. I have a glue bottle that I like to keep upside down and I don't have anything, so it keeps toppling over. So I was thinking I could, if it'll fit in here, it'll fit and the base will be here. So the glue is always to the top. I don't know, but it was a dollar. And I'm like, well, maybe that answers my issue with my glue bottle. Um, this is a salt, pepper, powdered sugar, cinnamon. I could use it on my coffee bar, but I won't. Because the plan is to put 
a glue bottle in there. Um, and it's a Dollar Tree glue bottle and it works perfect. Um, the top's tight so the dough doesn't get all that dry, goopy glue. I know. I have more receipts and junk. Oh, and I need to send me somebody. Oh, there was a food bank looking for these bags. So I'm gonna try to see if I can send them out. Ugh, we just have a few other things. I did get just some sugar-free candies. I like to have these on hand, especially when I'm working at my part-time job. It's always a nice little treat. Um, I grabbed this, which is just the clovers, and it says Happy St. Patrick's Day, I'm sure. Yes, it says Happy St. Patrick's Day, but I have found that two of these wrapped around my desk decor thing is perfect coverage. So I grabbed these and then I will put like these up in the corner so far. I mean, it's not even the beginning of January here, friends. So I grabbed that for... I just need, I want to have it pre-done, like, see it, buy it. I need to get some chenille stems, like some green ones, and probably some, I have pink, and that'll be fine for Easter. But honestly, I don't mind spending, like, $5 to decorate my desk, and that's usually what it amounts to. So that'll go in my basket for St. Patrick's Day. Okay got more stuff here oh apparently I was feeling the candy um oh yeah these are fun so when I see fun things I grab them this jar is for me to make iced coffee in I didn't have a mason jar with a smallish lid um, that will hold the amount of iced coffee that I want to make um, so you put in your instant coffee, cold water, shake, 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 shake. It froths up the coffee. You add ice, your sweetener, and then milk. And it's really good. I will tell you, I'll make one for you. I saw this from Mama D on TikTok. She makes them all the time. And she was doing a review. I got to put this in the dishwasher. She was doing a review of different instant coffees. Because I'm like, girl, instant coffee is gross. I don't like instant coffee. Well, then she was showing this stuff that I've never seen before. Uh, Nescafe, I think it is. Colombian? What? Where did that come from? So I bought them in the little sticks to travel with. And then I bought the Fair Life milk because I like that. And it's no sugar added. And it's delicious. I know. Instant coffee. So I'll make a video to show you how I make my instant iced coffee, and I think you should try it too. Now, I do know overseas they use Nescafe Gold. I don't think we can get that here, but it sounds delicious if you ask me. Um, I wanna take a bath, so I got some Epsom salt. My skin is really dry, and um, shocker, if you don't know, Epsom salt is very medicinal for your skin. I don't know if it soaks into your innards, but I do know that it's very good for your skin, especially if you suffer from eczema. Throw like this whole bottle, this whole container is 16 ounces, and I would say it's two cups, and I would put this whole bag in a bathtub. And then I get some Aveeno moisture bath, and I put that in there with it, and then I soak. And this does amazing things for my eczema and my dry, itchy skin. I'm not even trying to sell you anything. It's $1.25. Um, and it's safe. I mean, you could put littles in here. I mean, you would obviously talk with your doctor because I am not a medical provider. I am just telling you that for me, Epsom salts works. And I don't get the scented. This is just plain old... The only ingredient in here is whatever it's called. Magnesium sulfate soaking solution. Epsom salt. They have scented ones. I don't, I don't, I don't need the scented ones because that's drying. This is not. So I have that. A couple more things. Oh, here's the other one that I got that I thought would be fantastic to put a little ornament or something in the middle. 
I don't know, guys. What do you think? I always see these little dealy do hickey thingies. And I mean, this is easily painted. It's two staples. I can take it apart. I mean, these are just fun little decor items that I can use for my cross stitching or air dry clay. That's my new thing. Um, I do have a video coming out this week where I tested Dollar Tree air dry clay. It's okay. It's very fragile. I mean, like it shatters. It's it crumbly. So I'm using a good brand right now and I don't think I'm going to have that problem. Okay, next up, I grabbed two packs of these, one for me and one for Sarah. Actually, I got three, and I took one to work for my life-altering prize bag. Um, but I'm going to show you. I will open mine. These are, they are Bees Wax Reusable Baggies. I have seen these before. I've never seen the baggies before, but I do have the Bees Wax wrap. But this, you put your food in here or whatever, and you just seal it. And it sticks, right? It stays closed. Now, from what I understand, it's just beeswax over cotton fabric. You can wash these in cold water. You really don't want to wash them in hot water. It says hand wash in cool water, air dry, keep away from heat, hot water, and direct sun. Uh, not suitable for raw meat or fish, refrigerator and freezer safe, not dishwasher safe. From what I understand, you can iron them to remelt the, the beeswax. But this is like for your lunch, you know, if you wanna put some snacks in here, and then you just throw it in. Now, it doesn't feel as sticky. And I'm wondering if it needs to be refreshed with a little um, iron to just juice up the wax. But anyway, I thought these were fantastic. So you get three of these bags. And I'm assuming they're all the same size. Um, yes, no, no, they're not. So we have a small one, ah, small, medium, and large. And this one here, which is longer, and then this one. And for a dollar twenty-five, these are great. So I grabbed these. I need to read up on, um, how to revitalize them because it doesn't quite feel as sticky as it should. It should stick to itself. And that may just because they're cold too, because they've been out in my car, which is probably the problem. I would assume once they come, yeah, they're kind of chilly. Once they come to room temperature, the wax will then become sticky again. But yeah, that was a lot of talk for, I got three of these. They were $1.25. Okay, and then the last thing I got was Easter, and these are cute, and these are definitely new to my store. Let's do our thumbnail. Perfect. The, oh, they're little ornaments. So you got your gnomes. I mean, they got us all, the gnomes and the trucks. Because we're basic like that, right? Um, let me see if I can get this open. Eek. Maybe not. I was going to take one out for you. If I can get it open. You know I never have scissors, right? Here we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. So they're like an ornament, like a Christmas ornament. I know they had the white Easter trees. But you can do that. And then hang it on a tree. You could put it on an ornament. You could do whatever you want with them. And they're just little wooden pieces. And they are, they come in a, um, just this little wooden tray. I don't know how many you get. It's 12 pieces. So you must get three of each, three of each color. Yeah, I thought these were super fun. 
um, for decorating or whatever. I mean, you could put them, I could honestly stick them in the grass when I do my um, table for spring. We're nowhere near spring, guys. I know that, but it's there, and so you have to buy it. I will probably take this to work and put it in with my life-altering prizes. And yeah, I think that is it. That is everything I got this week at the Dollar Tree. I hope you enjoy. I am gonna try to put out some new content. Uh, tonight, while we're sitting here, my Shein video went up. This is the shirt I got. I love it. I wore it all day today. Uh, yeah, so that is everything, and I will talk with you later. Bye.